October 5th. Um, I know Alvin, Charlie, and Ashton, and um, Kevin, and Jordan, there's a bunch of guys, the Latitude guys, a bunch of guys out at camp, um, doing a bow camp this weekend. And I'm going to get out there as much as I can. I'll probably, so it's Thursday night right now, or I think everybody's out there tonight, I'm not sure, but um, I know our crew's out there, but things are just so crazy right now with work. You know, I've been elk hunting and bear hunting pretty much the whole last month straight, um, and doing what work I can in between, so now I'm trying to play catch up and get all my, my work done, and then my buddy's getting married. Um, Tyler, he's getting married this weekend, so we've got rehearsal for that tomorrow night, and then the wedding's Saturday, so it's just going to be a crazy weekend. Um, get out to camp and, and probably stay there, go out there tomorrow night after rehearsal, um, and stay out of camp tomorrow night, try to hunt Saturday morning, and then um, go to the wedding, and then uh, get back out. Um, Sunday morning to hunt again and hopefully Sunday night too. We'll see. Um, but I think everybody's going home on Sunday night. Maybe not. I might be staying until Monday. I'm not sure. But as bad as I want to be out there, I just can't right now. So it eats me up knowing that they're out there at camp and I'm not. But I am going to get a quick afternoon, evening sit in. Um, just slipped out of work. Luckily, I threw all my gear. I think I have all my gear. I literally just stopped at the gas station and bought my deer tag. So, to say I am unprepared. That's cool. I had a deer right there. Just took off. Deer mode. Um, to say I'm unprepared is an understatement. So, I basically, like, I've been shooting my bow and stuff and trying out some new gear, um, just the last few days, but, um, as far as, like, my clothes and all my, my, uh, my accessories, I guess you would call them, um, I didn't have any of it out, so I just pulled everything out last night, like, 9 o'clock last night, started going through stuff put a pack together, and I'm um, just hoping I got everything, um, just threw up my truck in my way before I went to work this morning, and got in a full day's work, and um, I'm going to have a couple hours to sit in a stand for the first time this year, so looking forward to that, we got a cold front coming in, um, so it's been like in the upper mid 80s, like low to mid 80s, I guess. Uh, the last, I don't know, five, six days, and uh, it's just been brutal hot for October, and uh, today it's down, I don't think it's got above 65 today, um, and then the next two days it's just supposed to keep dropping down, so, looks like the wind's right out of the south here, I was thinking it was going to be more west, should still be okay, but, um, I'm going to slip back into a stand that I hunted last year, or a tree that I hunted last year, early in bow season, and shot a doe out of it. Um, this will be the second time I've ever hunted in that tree, and um, it's a really cool spot. Last year there wasn't uh, jack shit for acorns back in here, and uh, it's driving in here every oak tree I drove under. You just hear them popping under your tires, so there's lots of acorns this year which should enhance this spot. So there's a old clear cut here with a stand of like, I don't know, 15 to 20 year old trees for what happened there. I have no idea why, how that was created, but there's a, a long vein of like, I don't know, maybe even 20 to 25 year old um, pine trees and uh, small oak trees. And uh, that goes right out through the middle of that grown-up cutting. And on the west end of that cutting is super thick jack pine. Like, you'd have to get on your hands and knees and crawl through it. Perfect deer bedding. And then on the east end of this cutting is where all the oaks start. Um, 
big mature, you know, oaks that should have acorns. And actually the tree that I'm in is probably the first oak tree um, that the deer could hit coming out of that bedding area. <clears throat> it's a really cool spot. Um, like I said last year, I, I sat there once, seen a doe, whacked that, and I haven't been back. So um, I'm looking forward to getting back in that tree. And there might even be acorns in the, in the tree I'm sitting in, I'm not sure. And if that's the case, those deer should walk right underneath me. Um, that should be the first oak tree that they can eat under coming out of that bedding area. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get my gear out, put some clothes on, go see what we can do. I'm just getting back in here to the old cutting, and I'm going to kind of show you guys. You can see it pretty well. see out oh, there's big mature red pines and then you see those slightly taller trees that's just a vein of like 20 25 foot tall trees a mix of pine maple and oak that they left when they cut this right here in front of me so this cutting wraps all the way goes all the way to that uh, that big mature red pine stand and then you've got that vein of like 20 to 25 year old trees that goes out and ends like right out near somewhere and then beyond that further to the left is um, really really thick with jack pines um, and that's where those deer bed they bed there and then they work their way up that vein down that edge into the oaks over here to the right i just want to take a second and kind of show you guys that it's i guess i've never really realized how noticeable it is from the edge of this cutting kind of up on top of a hill but i'm just very slowly gonna pick my way through this grown up cutting and get out to the tree that I know I can get a tree stand in in that vein of um, trees that runs through the middle of that cutting you gotta go super slow through this old thick cutting it's all dried broken dead sticks seen any fresh buck sign yet, but I'm not into a spot where I would expect to see buck sign, so I just found a scrape. It's not much of one, but seen a bunch of buck grubs working this edge on my way in here so cool down here for a 
second. I mean, just within the last two minutes, I had a small buck. He came right up behind me, right here. I could hear him walking <coughs> and eating acorns. I could hear the acorns crunching in his mouth. And then uh, he popped out and instantly got my wind as soon as he popped out into the opening. I wouldn't even say wind, it's just like dead, dead calm. The sun's just kind of fall under the ground right now. Um, but yeah, it was way slower than what I thought. I had pretty high expectations. The amount of buck sign that I seen coming in here, there's definitely a good buck using this. And I may even hang a camera out closer to the truck. I know the deer cross at, at night to get to the acorns just to kind of try and get an inventory to see if there's a buck here that's worth me coming back here and putting a, uh, more time into this area. That's definitely, they're definitely a good buck here. I just want to see who he is, what he looks like. But that's going to do her for a night backed up and get out of here. Um, I'm excited to get back to the truck and see if anybody else had any action tonight and if anybody killed anything. So Until probably Saturday morning. I uh, won't be back out till Saturday morning, so until then, stay wild.